Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. And module for this section is evading ideas, firewalls and honeypots. Evading ideas simply means evading intrusion detection system. Whichever intrusion detection system are present in our network, we have to evade it and evading firewall. Firewalls are a kind of uh, topic which can be discussed briefly, but in short, there are two kinds of firewall. It can be a virtual firewall and it can be a hardware firewall. So Windows by default has a virtual firewall. So we will try to evade that firewall. There are another firewalls which are very uh, difficult, virtual firewalls which are very difficult to break in, but we can break in. There's no firewall that we can't break in. So evading firewalls. So firewalls are the protector of a network right so they are they are the protector of the network and honeypots what are honeypots right honeypots are the sweet spot given to a hacker yeah given to a hacker so that they think that this port is open but when they try to access that port we who set the trap of honeypot we will get the information of the attacker it's like a prevention method we will show that this port is open and you can attack but hacker will eventually think if i attack i can get access and we will get the session id everything ip address everything of that system so without wasting our time let's jump into a lab yeah we have an old topology which is 192.168.255.3 Windows machine at dot 35, Linux at 239, Windows server at 242, and Cisco router at 246. In this uh, in this lab, we will only use these three machines. We are not using this two, these two machines. Okay. So this NetCloud is for my internet. So don't worry. So this is also not being used. Only to download the tools. That's all. So let's jump into our first lab which is linux machine yeah we are in a linux machine and let me make it full screen for you yeah so we will click on terminal let the terminal open and i will scan uh, and by default i have enabled my uh, firewalls in uh, windows server and windows pc which is windows 10 and windows server is 2008 okay so by default, I have enabled the firewall in those PCs. So what I will do is do an nmap of TCP SYN attack and I will type one of the IPs 198.168.255.35. Let's go because 35 is our Windows 10 machine. And let's just uh, let the scan begin and it will show us the result. Yeah. So the by default uh, windows i have enabled so by default there are 750 ports open in my windows machine uh, 250 ports open in my windows machine and uh, how did i know that because there are 750 closed ports and it scans by default thousand ports means thousand well-known ports so uh, my 250 ports are open okay so this is a way i evaded a firewall and now i will show you about windows server yeah so uh, same command i will go and i will type 242 yeah this will also take some time but it will eventually work yeah same uh, i have uh, around 18 ports open yeah so 18 ports open in my Windows 10 machine, Windows 2008 server, and 250 ports open in my Windows 10 machine. What I will do is simple. Uh, I will try to. This was our first task to perform an attack, and it, you can perform multiple attacks. You can perform a ST attack. Yeah, to scan different kind of attack, you will get new host, new ports. Okay, so we will take. This is our first task, and the second task is simple simple we will use the gui version see they are small it's a tcp attack and you can see there there are not many uh, ports came in our uh, this st attack yeah but 
uh, as you can see here we uh, here we got more open quotes so what i am going to uh, show you is i am opening a tool called send map and i will create a custom scan because scanning quotes gives us how i can attack that machine how if i have evaded that machine that means uh, means i have gotten the ports i have gotten the vulnerability which through that port i can perform so i will click on zen map and press uh, i will type zen map and press enter so by default uh, zen map looks like looks like this and what you have to do is simple you can perform and you have to type the target ID. i will type 168 dot uh, 31 yeah so what you have to do is uh, is to create a profile according to you so by default it's an intent scan there are many other scan too but what i will do is you can type the command and edit the command here also but i will do a new profile which will be going to profile and clicking on new profile or command which will open this thing and you have to type uh, a profile name and as my lab manual i will type paranoid yeah i missed the name okay scanning will be tcp scan i will go for s so any attack you can go so i will go for s xmas uh, tree scan and which is very powerful it will take time i will use an idle scan zombie which will be my server yeah okay sorry 192.168.255.242 okay ftp bounce attack i would not do that okay and ping i don't want any ping scripting scripting i can use there are many scripts so by default default script is there what i will do there are many scripts you can use any script what you want so it can test that now oh, this is vulnerable uh, vulnerable through this target i don't want uh, source use a decoy to hide identity you can use a decoy means you have to uh, hide your ip it's better to hide your ips in a professional attack okay save the changes okay and from this it's still intense attack you have to choose paranoid yeah this is the one i created and this is the one this is the command for paranoid and what you have to do is simply hit scan which is a, a method which you can use okay method which you can use uh, and it will take time it will give you the same result so don't worry I'll click on again scan okay oh you have to uh, one more tcp scan you specified more than one tcp scan so i will do one thing i will remove one thing i will remove some s x ones yeah scan it started trace route does not support idle scan so idle scan i have to remove idle scan also okay basically you can set your profile as you wish that that's what i meant these are the ports open and you can see so these are the not normal ports you get from the uh, customized scanning that's why it's showing like this so these are the ports so you can scan it and i used a decoy ip of 242 so that is what i meant you can use your personalized uh, scanning methods personalized scanning method which will give you different different information each and every scanning gives you different information you can't use more than one tcp attack you can only use one so you have to perform many of them intense scan will basically give you more than enough but intense scan is also not complete you can choose intense scan with all tcp ports or plus udp ports you have to perform basically many attacks the best attack is slow compressive at scan which will give you all the information so i prefer slow compressive it will take time but it will be worth your time to get all the information that you are targeting so let us jump to another lab which will be creating an honey pot and honey pot as i mentioned honey pot are the sweet spot it will be a sweet spot given at my system uh, to 
gimmick that we have a port open and this way the attacker will try to connect to that port because he have seen that this port is open i should connect this port but if he connects to that port this is a sweet spot right it's like uh, in jungle we put meat to grab i mean to attract animals just like that we will attract animals and we will capture him so that's the thing that's what honey honey pods can be in a small definition yeah so the basically this port will be a honey pot and we will be running a honey pot software it can be anything there are many software and i will be using honey bot which will be by a company called atomic uh, software solutions and you can basically uh, download this tool uh, it will be from uh, academic uh, license it will be okay academic license will definitely will work but there are another license which gives you more flexibility in this tool so this will be and whenever he tries to connect to this i will be getting his all information in my honey bot okay so let's look at that lab so i am at my windows 10 machine and as you can see i am in atomic software solution website and i have downloaded the tool yeah so i have downloaded the tool you can also download the tool just go down and you will get the information you have to just download this tool and you will be good to go you have to just install the tool and you will be getting a shortcut in your desktop you have to simply open that and whenever whenever a user tries to connect to a honey pot it's a open port which he gimmicked so let me do one thing let me close the currently open honey pot which will be a good thing because you will see from starting what i have done here is simple i have double clicked the honey pot software and it will start it's starting the sockets as you can see and someone is trying to make a connection actually i did a tcp scan there that's why it came here automatically and it's 123 it's exactly the time and the and my background kali linux is trying to scan this pc and he got a connection okay this connection he got from 239 who is trying to access this remote port he is basically scanning but if you do an ftp scan also it will catch and it's like he gave this port so that this user can scan it and by scanning it he will get the information as you can see another port another port and i am getting all the information who is trying to connect to my pc yeah so if you click on this if there are a number of pc you will be getting into remotes and there will be a list of number of pc but here in our lab scenario we have only one kali linux machine that's why it's showing only one system so this way we set up uh, set up a uh, honey bot trap and these are uh, proof that you uh, many many big companies use honey bots to fake and get the uh, real attackers means get the ips of real attackers and trying to which are trying to access their servers and basically they will trap and don't uh, what i meant is don't try unethical works because they can set any ports and you will be thinking that it's a uh, open port and they are so stupid to open some ports but it's not they are not that much stupid okay so what i will do is show you one more github library which i mentioned but i don't remember the name okay yeah github honey pot okay so there are uh, to use this same system if you have a linux server and you can use the same thing in uh, server window server you have to just simply install what i will do is one minute i will show you after all I'll delete yeah i will uh, let me just log in this pc capital dst123 yeah so what i meant is i have downloaded the same tool in this thing so i will run this and here also i have run the scan so it has because i did a ftp so local port was 21 and for demonstration i will show you one thing yeah so for that i will take a shell and shell okay control x see i have uh, done uh, okay okay and i will try an nmap scan on my windows server because uh, in data centers there are servers and hackers are used to attack servers and evading the firewalls 
what i will do is basically do a tcp scan in 192.168.255.242 yeah. when i scan it see as you can see oh it's not this one this one right so it will take time and it will show you the basically the ports and if you click on this plus icon you will get the remote ports which are using it so remote ip is this because i used a decoy that's why it was doing like that so there are number of ports scanned and it will come it will take time but uh, this scan it uh, it is recording previously i have stopped the scan but the scan came but it will come so let me do one thing i will restart this and basically i meant this tool works on each and every operating system windows you can install from atomic software solution because you can use another one because this is the most trusted one and from their side download every tool from respective sites else you will be having trouble they may have injected something in their software so please download every tool from their respective sites and in linux in linux i want to say one thing more in linux uh, here brave is open yeah. in linux uh, you can basically uh, have so much there are so many repository honeypot uh, github linux if you are running a linux server you can also set a honey honeypot trap and there are many repository in github many many so you have to basically clone that repository and run the script which is uh, which is in that uh, honeypot repository and it will work same but maybe different because the tools are different but information collected is exactly the same so you have to basically clone it and run the script both will work fine and the, uh, and this is the end of this module and we will uh, we will see at you in next module okay